if you just recognize this intro, I inform you that today you are old. That's right, my friend. Today you must be in your late 20s, early 30s, because when this thing was out, the thing was the bomb. And if you still remember PlayStation 1, I'm going to remind you of five things that me personally and I think all the kids of the day still remember using that day. So with number five, let's start. Number five, I have to call it the excitement when playing a game. Well, if you already recognize this game, this is Resident Evil 2. And when we played this, this is an example of the games when we played, the excitement. Because we were kids, uh, we couldn't always play when we wanted. Um, we couldn't just buy the game like today. Uh, we had to wait for the mommy or daddy or grandpa or grandma to buy us the game. And when they did buy us the game, we would be so hyped because we didn't have YouTube, we didn't have reviews. We just you now buy the game and let's hope for the best. And Resident Evil was that game. I just remember the first time I played this game, I was like, zombies, uh, this looks cool, let's see about this. Then the beginning of this game is just also brilliant. This was an awesome game. Still today, this franchising is still growing every day, stronger and stronger. People love this. Remasters are being made. So, number five for me is the excitement of taking on that controller and playing the game and not knowing nothing of what's going to happen in the game. No reviews, no walkthroughs, no nothing. Just me, the game, and all the excitements to play the game. So once again, number five for me, the excitement of playing the game. Multiplayer, but not today's multiplayer, the old school shit multiplayer where your friend had to come to your house and he had to bring your controller and you guys would play all afternoon and when there were sleepovers you would play all night until your eyes just couldn't be open anymore and the, the mother would just prepare yourself some sandwiches and give you some cookies and just say hey take a break and play outside a little bit so no take a break let's come let's go eat something and I really miss those days where summer where of course I was I was an outsider boy too also but I spent a lot of time gaming with my friends all day long with real multiplayer side by side I really miss those days this is how you share your games on PS4 number three trading your games with your friends thanks this video was done by Sony by the time the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One had been announced and it was a, a big big hit for Microsoft when Sony did this. But the truth is that when we played our PlayStation 1, all games were tried like this. And if my friend had bought Resident Evil 2 and I had bought Crash Medicoot, uh, I was no I already knew that I was going to trade my Resident Evil with Crash Bandicoots and when the trade was done I would you know, pray very hard that he wouldn't want his game back until I finish it because on that day or you finish the game or you do not finish the game and your friend wants the game back there's no saving online and you can delete it and put it again there were nothing of that if you remember right so I really miss those hey do you have that game can, you, can I borrow it I promise I'll give it to you back and sometimes uh, games would just disappear and, and that never happened to me but some friends would stop being friends because the game was never returned so number three for me is that magical feeling of trading a game with the friends and hoping that he won't ask me back for the game until I finish it now that was a big thing for me the, the thing between friends and sharing games do you remember it? The memory cards. 
the memories about the memory card i have so many about this one i remember that one time i went to my friend's house to play and i forgot my memory cards at his home you can imagine all the suffering that i had because i didn't have my data at my console so i couldn't play my games with all the progress that i had it was a big big thing at the time because we had a memory card with one mega and we thought we had the whole space in the whole world in gaming so there's no more to tell you because if you remember this my friend you are old do you remember your memory cards well i remember my memory card number one not having no tutorials how to pass the games and the reason why i'm putting dragon ball z here is because i remember at the time i just got stuck in this game now this game you, you don't need no guide you, you don't need no tutorial because all you have to do is to win the game but i remember that this game i had this combat i don't know if it was with the freezer or cl i don't remember but I remember that I couldn't le lose more than, you know, 30% of health. If I lose more than 30%, I would lose the match, the combat. So, I remember that I got stuck in this so, so long, almost to quit the game. And this reflects on the other games that they came before PlayStation, but with PlayStation 1, the games got more competitive, got more difficult, you had to think a little bit more, and sometimes you just had to, you know, you had like 2-3 days and you hoped, you prayed that some friend of yours would have the same game that you and you would ask him, hey man, I'm stuck in that part, how did you pass it? And he would just say, hey man, I haven't got there yet, so you have to wait. And you were just like, oh no, I can't believe it, I have this game and I'm stuck in this game because I don't know how to pass it. And you just have to figure it out. The thing about those days is that you just had to figure it out. And if you don't figure it out, you're stuck. And you perhaps you have to call your dad, or your brother, or your friends that never played the game. And so perhaps he can see how to pass it. There must be a way to pass the games. There were no YouTube at the time, there were no tutorials. And if you had to progress, you had to figure it, it out. And that's to me, my friends, that's the main reason, number one reason that I remember from PlayStation 1 at the time for me is not having no tutorials. You just put the game and you have to two sides and to figure out how to do all the stuff on your own. We had to think at the time, not like today. You don't know how to pass a part of the game, you just go YouTube and you see the gameplay, you see the walkthrough and BAM! You've just passed the game, you didn't even try that hard. And nowadays, that wasn't the case. You, do you remember it? Well, I do remember it. And those are my five top things that I remember from PlayStation 1. If you like this video, please leave a like and, just, and a subscribe. And if these things go well, I will do one video of Do You Remember Per Week. So guys, peace out.